The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm going to be discussing a topic that lots of people are going to have different opinions upon. You know, I, I enjoy talking about video games. I've done many videos on my channel, and these are fun videos to do, especially ones with people with different answers. And so, with today's discussion, uh, I'm going to be bringing up many points, and you know, you're going to have uh, some opinions you may not agree with me that's okay and um, in the comments below I definitely want you to respond and give your side of what console or handheld has the best video game library that's right the gloves are off and with this discussion uh, in the comments you know let's be respectful as you know many people are gonna have uh, their thoughts and it's okay to have a different uh, opinion than someone else when we can have a reasonable conversation and and discussion in the comment section but you know I'm going to bring up several factors and so I've thought about this I recently have been looking at a book you know the supercade of a visual history of the video game age and that's a that's a wonderful uh, very nice visual guide of some video games of that era there's also a previous book and you can check that out uh, there will be an affiliate link below where you can uh, check this book out as well as a previous edition. And, you know, it talks about lots of different video games on several different consoles. You know, there's countless consoles and handhelds have came out in the last 50 years, you know, and, and a multitude of them have sold uh, over a million. Uh, but let's, let's jump right in, all right? So first up, you could go just strictly off sales figures. So there's, you know, three big ones at the top of the list. You know, PS2 is still number one, uh, you know, and you could look at just sales numbers. Well, look at the sales numbers. Look at the, 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 the library of the PlayStation 2. Uh, or you could talk about the DS, another huge, successful handheld. And I, I love my DS. And then the Switch is on the rise. You know, Switch is number three now uh, with that 122 million plus at the time of this video and so you could just just looking off console or handheld sales um, you could say those have the best library without even delving into their library in general um, the counter to that is that while those are huge successes there's lots of fluff and garbage that goes along with any successful console or handheld you know you look at the playstation one you look at the wii you look uh, you know the wii is a good example where i think there is a small portion of games that are excellent you know that nintendo first party stuff um but there's a lot of other garbage that came out with that trend that a lot of people aren't the majority of people aren't going to revisit it just is you know some of those games are just just terrible um definitely uh have a few in mind that come come to my mind that you know I, I covered on my channel that are just really really bad. So there's that aspect, you know. But that that that's just one aspect that you could look at. I could think of probably half a dozen other consoles that I really really appreciate. You know, I think of like the PC Engine or Turbo Graphics 16, the Nintendo GameCube, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Saturn. Um, even the 3DS, the 3DS has a very specific library that really is uh, unique to it that, you know, for the most part, you know, some of it can be emulated um, and some of it is just, you know, when I think of the 3DS, just a great library. Uh, I definitely have to put this on the list, Neo Geo. Uh, Neo Geo, I know there's hardcore fans of that console and, you know, for arcade games, it does an amazing job. You know, that Neo Geo, that, that hardware was around a long time too. So all of those could be defended. You know, uh, the counter to those is that there's holes in each of those libraries. They do things, specific things, great. Um, there's other types of games on each of those libraries that's missing. Um, you know, so... I know there's going to be uh, people out there defending those to, you know, you might have a lot of experience with the library. You might have played every game in a console's library and say, oh yeah, I've, I, I've played that and that is tops more than anything else. And, you know, that's great. Uh, you know, I have enjoyment and happy thoughts about several gaming sessions about each of those and, and others. And so, you know, I'm sure there's someone out there that says the, the, 
the PlayStation Vita has the best library. Um, you know, you could also look at, you know, uh, can a console be modified and should that be included in the discussion? You know, if it could be modified to play any games, then that expands its console, the game library, and, you know, that should be a part of the discussion. Well, there you go. So, you know, that would throw the Wii back in because the Wii can be soft modded and, you know, added tons and tons of games. Xbox comes to mind, Dreamcast. And so that really expands the game library, or do you just stick with the original releases? And so, you know, there's several uh, modifications of multitude of handheld and consoles that have came out this, this last 50 years that really expand the game's library. And so, you know, that, that could be part of the discussion as well. Um, also, hey, if you're new to this channel and you like what you see, I have thousand plus videos and you may want to consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I am uploading videos every week with a new banner. Anyways, getting back to uh, other things to consider. 2D versus 3D. Now, uh, I've been gaming a long time and I have, uh, I'm a big fan of 2D games. Uh, 3D gaming is great, but uh, you know if I had to choose right now at this moment, I'm into 2D games at the moment. And so maybe you stick with consoles that just focused on that. You know, think of Neo Geo, TurboGrafx-16, I think of the 16-bit powerhouses, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, a uh, big fan of Sega Genesis. Um, and so that, that's, that's the age-old debate too. You know, maybe you're a big 2D fan and that's what you like to play. So you're going to just, you know, nuke all the new consoles on the market and just stick with that and say, that's the best. You know, because really that's where the heart of gaming's at. Um, you might even just do 8-bit versus 16-bit. You know, maybe you're just an original NES collector or gamer, and that's good enough. You know, uh, maybe the the complexity of controllers as they've evolved made, made those libraries just something you didn't want to pursue. Maybe going back to just two buttons. Uh, you, know, you know, going back to the good old days, Sega Master System, Nintendo Entertainment System, you know, even the Atari 7800. So that is another thing to consider with the best game library. Uh, you know, the other thing to bring up too is the percentage of good games versus bad games on a library. And so some people would say, well, it comes down to like the ratings. You know, what, what library had the best, you know, overall percentage of great games? You know, there's, there's a couple of to be considered for sure. You know, TurboGrafx-16 had a lot of great games. Uh, many people would defend that library. Neo Geo. Um, so even Sega Dreamcast had, you know, a, ro a robust library for what it did. You know, the, the unfortunately it was discontinued early on. Um, gosh, so that's another thing to consider. And, and definitely one, a, a big one that we all have to admit to is generational bias. You know, if you grow up in a particular era and you experience a particular genre, you're going to be probably biased towards that and defend that more than other handhelds and consoles that you didn't have a lot of experience with or didn't have a nostalgic connection to. For me, I find value in all different types of consoles and handhelds. And so it's hard for me to even say what had the best library. Because I think over time, they all contributed to where we're at now. You know, if you look at the history of consoles and handhelds and, and classic computing, going back, you know, they all have gotten to where we're at now. You know, look at, look at all the games that are an homage to previous generations that are coming out on the Switch. You know, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and S, um, and Steam Deck. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. Um, you know, and to bring that up, you know, uh, there's so many factors that are going to mold your opinion. And there's going to be some bias in there. We all have it. You know, that's something to admit. And, you know, for, for one thing, you know, for me, you know, I have so many fond memories of the 16-bit era. You know, that's what I, that's, you know, I was in high school. And I really experienced that time when it came out. It was fantastic and have lots of great memories, but there's some generational bias there. You know, the con to that is that, you know, we've moved on from 16-bit, and there's so much more we can do with video games and the medium, uh, you know, 
And in, in the examples of several games that have came out in the last five years show that. And so, you know, that's something to be considered when you're coming up with an opinion. And definitely I want to hear your comments below. So what do you think of this? What is the, what is the console or handheld with the best game library? Let me know. And as always, thank you for coming to my channel. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.